happy Saturday. This is Sherry from Style Tips with Sherry. I am so thrilled to be able to bring you another outfit breakdown by someone who, well, it's by me, but from someone who is in our closet outfit planner community. And she posted this photo about a week or so ago. And she was asking, did it work? And everyone said, yes, yes, yes. Well, when I saw it, I thought, you know what? I would love to break this outfit down and tell you what works and what doesn't. And she and I communicated this week. She put her, the suggestions to, I mean, she just did it. Her husband, Gary the golfer, that's what I'm calling him, he took the photo. So shout out to Gary. We're happy that you were able to help us with this. And so let me explain Sue. She is a retired nurse and midwifery. She's been retired for 10 years. In our system, she is a cool color code. When you look at her, you might think, huh, is her hair silver enough to go, to move her into the cool category? But yes, we are, we're moving her over. She got some highlights put in. She wanted silver, but they put too much blonde in. And so we're kind of moving back to the silver. She's letting it grow out. She has an X body shape with a tiny bit of tummy. I think that happens to many of us as we hit a certain age. And where do we gain our weight? Kind of goes right to the tummy. So we wanna, we wanna adjust that a little bit. And so we wanna camouflage that a little bit. She is uh, a movie star in our system. So five, six, smaller frame. I don't want too large of accessories on her, but I definitely don't want too small of accessories on her either because she is five foot six. And so let's get to it. First of all, amazing haircut and glasses. So beautiful. So, I mean, on trend, modern, yet classic, very classy, great, great, beautiful, beautiful uh, accessories and haircut on her. The color of her jacket and top work beautifully. They are part of her car cool color code, the navy and the white. And then her slacks may be a little more coral. I, I, I really, I should have asked her. I didn't, Sue, so I'm not sure. But pinky, pinky coral works. I would prefer if they were probably a little more pink, but who knows? Maybe they are in real life, so we're going to just look past that. And I want you to see that what she has done well is that she has silver accessories on. She's got a silver bag. She has silver chunky loafers, which she said she saw off of my YouTube channel when I did spring trends. So she went out and got them. They're from Steve Madden. I love how she coordinated her bag to her hair. That works. And so let's go ahead and move now and talk about what doesn't work and how we can make it work. Number one, if you'll notice, the bag is too long. When you carry a crossover bag, you want it to be, you'll be able to, to put your wrist under it, your hand under it, should be easily accessible. Number two, is the necklace is wrong? for that outfit. When you are balancing your outfit with color on your pieces, for example, the uh, she has a bold color on the pants, and then she has chunky loafers on. She also has a blazer on. And so we have some bold pieces, heavier, a little more con constructed pieces. We want to balance that, the bottom, we want to balance that with a stronger, chunkier necklace. And then the earrings are too small. She and I talked about the fact that she has a long neck, so we wanted a little bit longer earring on her. I also feel like the front tuck kind of bunches at her belly and makes her tummy pooch a little more than it does in real life. And I also think the sleeves on the jacket are a little long. So let's see what I had her do. So this first photo you're seeing, I had her tuck in the shirt. And then I also, instead of the little front tuck, right, that she was doing, 
And then I had her add a silver belt, probably about a two inch belt. I had her add the belt because she is long waisted. And so adding a belt right in the center, it actually creates a little bit of a uh, something in the center that actually kind of shortens the top part of her body. And so that is a super look for her. And then I had her add a shorter, chunkier necklace. Now, this is a very classic modern piece. It is a, uh, you know, just a, a, a chain necklace, but it was chunky enough that it actually balanced her outfit. In this next photo, I had her add a long necklace to bring the eye to the center of the body so that when the onlooker looked at her, she's got a long silhouette right in the middle and it just brought the eye. I love this on her. The problem is if she was going to carry the crossover bag, it didn't work with it. Look here in this photo, it, 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 it clashed. So you had the long chain and then the crossover bag. And so the two didn't, didn't work. So I want you to be super careful if you are wearing a crossover bag, what you're doing with your long necklaces. You're better to wear a shorter necklace so it doesn't interfere. All right, so let's take a look at her in this outfit with the shortened crossover bag. I had her shorten it. I had her shorten the chain to bring it up. And then I had her move it a little bit to the center of her body so that it, it blocked any of the poochiness that was happening with her blouse or her top as it was tucked in. And I, I love that. And I think that you guys can do that whether you're using a sling bag, whether you have a crossover bag, just move it a little bit to the middle if you have some belly to disguise. And then let's take a look at this next photo. In this photo, she is wearing the same outfit, but she's wearing it with a white collared blouse. And so when she showed me this outfit, because I told her when we were gonna meet, I said, try to, and we did this on Zoom. I said, try it with a couple different tops and see. So she put the white colored blouse on. But do you notice what happened is that it really bunched too much at the stomach and the whole blouse just kind of bunched up all the way, kind of just everywhere here. And so what she also did in this photo is she took the strap off of the bag and used it as a top handle bag. So the problem with that doing it that way is that it then became too small of a bag for her to carry based on her height. And so I asked her to take the collar and pop it out. So put it on the outside of her blazer, keep just her short necklace on, which she did, and then put the crossover bag back on and put it near the tummy area so that it just created this visual appearance in the center and your eye didn't go to the tummy. So what do you think about our beautiful Sue in her amazing classic modern style, clothing style personality? I love it. She's got so much joy in her. It was so fun to work with her. And so if you've got an outfit that you would like me to break down, email it to me, sherry, S-H-A-R-I, at stylebycolor.com. Everyone seems to love these, so I'm gonna do more of them. So email it and say, hey, what do I do with this outfit? And I'll break down your outfit on the air. Thank you, Sue. Thank you for watching, everyone. Spring, summer planner is in full force because the summer lookbook has been added to it. This is a six month wardrobe plan that you can get, oh my goodness, for warm weather. Make sure to check that out over at stylebycolor.com. And until next week, I will see you then. Bye-bye.